Hello once again, boys and girls. Welcome to another edition of Virginia Writer Magazine. I'm your host, Mark Ritchie, and today we'll be talking about the soon-to-be world-famous Man Purse. I know, slow news day, right? Well, um, the bike's kind of grounded due to snow, so I thought I would go over some of the things that I've accumulated over the years as a result of having to commute a while back to Northern Virginia from Fauquier County instead of having everything, you know, moving from the saddlebag to the center console of the Jeep. I just, I got one of these so I could store everything without having to dig through everything every time I had to change vehicles. So let's just get right into it. This is a Plano. Um, bag. I think I got it at Walmart for like 15 bucks, and uh, this is almost 10 years old, so it's held up quite well. Uh, it's got some outside flaps, pockets, if you will. I keep um, my registration in here, as well as some business cards. I've got a little gizmo that works good in hotel rooms if your charging cord isn't long enough, and this will fit on a wall socket and hold up your phone. You can put your phone on this and you can charge it if your cord's not long enough. So that's a pretty neat gizmo. I don't know what it's called. Um, I've got some Tums in here. I also carry a little uh, wire that hooks up that couples the pigtail to your heated liner. Um, some may find that useful. Others may find it tits on a bull. On this side, there's a, a little mesh pocket that I keep uh, camera batteries in and uh, one of these for when the bike's parked and then on, on the front there's another pocket so that's just the the quick go-to items the uh, Altoids eye drops I got a couple Leathermans in case I don't feel like digging out the toolkit there's a couple of Carmex lip thingies which I can't ride without because my skin gets all dry um, that's also for when the bike's parked. And a couple of wrenches that I sawed off so I could get to the exhaust bolt back in my VTX days. So that's a little 10 millimeter. And what else I got? I got there's a pen in case you need to write and some nail clippers. Uh, there's another pocket here, zip pocket. I keep all of my charging cords in there. And there's also. Uh, some glass cleaner, eyeglass cleaner, sunglass uh, cloth, and a little USB drive. Now the main compartment, I've got some eyeglasses, sunglasses. Oh, incidentally, I don't know if you can hear the background music, but that is uh, Tesseract. Uh, this is my Purple Panda lav mic pouch, which I'm using right now. Um, really good lav mic in case anybody uh, likes to do motor vlogging and doesn't want all the clipping and background noise in your recordings. These are some external USB batteries. You carry around some hockey spit when applied properly. It does a fairly decent job. And this little gizmo, it's a three-in-one that, that'll plug in all your your chargers, your you know laptop or whatever you need juice to in case you're in a motel that doesn't have a whole lot of light sockets. Uh, there's a two-in-one USB socket charger thingy. I have no clue what this is. Oh, that fits under the seat strap on a Harley, so when you're at lunch, you can put it on your buddy's bike, which provides a lot of laughs. Some sunblock. I've got some aspirin, some, some more Tums. Uh, here's a bottle of fuses of all different sizes and wattages and amperages. There's some uh, ibuprofen, a Sharpie in case you need to mark up your, your guardrail at the overlook. There's a, a specific charger for our camera batteries. Uh, some antibiotic uh, ointment. <laughs> almost as bad as saying moist. There's another pen 
and uh, one of my mementos from the west coast, a little seashell from the Pacific Ocean, which is kind of cool, and a flashlight, which uh, comes in handy because it's got uh, two different lights on it. So you can position it someplace where you'll get light to something that you need. But that's pretty much it. So I uh, hope you found it interesting. And um, leave a comment in the section below if you have something that you always carry with you that uh, I might not have covered here. So thanks for watching. And we'll catch you on the next one on Virginia Writer Magazine. Cheers. Wow, I'm glad you brought this. Where are you going to put the kids? Wow, I'll be right back. Now I can use the restroom. <laughs>